I hope you're already having a fabulous day and thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope that this video is just going to give it another little pop and pep in your step as I'm going to show you some gorgeous blooms to celebrate International Orchid Day. And yes, I'm using the exact same footage that I was using for my Repiculus Lelia update video a couple of weeks ago because these orchids are still in bloom so they will feature right out of the gate as an introduction kicking off what is a representation of exactly what is in bloom on my patio at the moment. <laughs> Insane. I hope your mind will be blown. So we've got Lelia Harpophila, gorgeous in orange with her charming little lip. We've got Lelia Mantecheri, pretty in pink, also with her charming little lip and her ever so long ambitious spike. Right in the background, of course, now we've got Lelia Flava still in bloom with that amazing pop of yellow color, charming lip, you see a theme here, <laughs> as well as an insane long spike. And back to the oranges, we've got Lelia Kaltskiana with a lip that just loves the camera. One of my all, all time favorite Repiculus Lelia lips. And the only thing that has changed from the video that had aired a couple of weeks ago is Lelia Guanense has opened all of her buds and well, the orange is mind-blowingly, eye-wateringly beautiful. As a little teaser, my class of 2019 Dendrobium Ophilum Cakeys have opened their blooms, but there is so much more to come on the patio. And this is where I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss the show of the mother plant, which is going to be absolutely insane as well. And besides that, I will be hosting a live stream. It's normally just a geek and gawk at the blooms of the Ophilum for as long as we can stand them <laughs> without a specific subject but it can be ask me anything if you are prepared to hear the answer with some answers I may need to be a little bit diplomatic simply because of the platform that we find ourselves on but it is a nice little chillax live stream so I encourage you to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you do not miss that stream when we just sit and gawk and look at the spectacle that is about to happen on the patio if you know any other orchid aficionados please share this video as well it is International Orchid Day after all and a like would be super appreciated just to top off the hat trick that YouTube loves so much now since the Rubiculous Lelia video aired Epicatrandra Rene Marquez crossed with Dimarandra Imarginata has also opened her blooms I did say a while ago during the winter that when we saw the spike forming, this one is going to take a long time because the only time that she really blooms is when the orchid is already outside, meaning temperatures have warmed up. And that is exactly what has happened. Temperatures have warmed up and she is outside looking beautiful. No fragrance on her at all. She is extremely long lasting with her blooms, of which I'm super grateful. But the one orchid that is not long lasting, but is in just the most magical, whimsical, charming, pixie dust, you name it, everything is going on. Shredded lip with this orchid. She is fragrant, it has a deep sugar fragrance, very heady when you get close to the blooms. It could be headache inducing, if the orchid were to be throwing her fragrance out, but she doesn't do that, you have to get close. And who does not want to get close to these blooms? This is Dendrobium Memoria, Krista Erdmann. With all the gorgeous show and the fantastic details of this bloom, there's a lot of energy that this orchid consumes. So these blooms only last 10 days, but we managed to get them to bloom for this very special day, International Orchid Day, and I cannot be more grateful. 
And for International Orchid Day, we have ourselves the zombie rhizome in bloom. And thank you to everybody that participated in the community post helping me identify this one. It is official. The zombie rhizome is a Brassavola tuberculata, which means my other tuberculata, which is potted up and in bud, is the perineae. So happy days, zombie rhizome in bloom. And this one is just gorgeous at night. Sugary, sweet lemon fragrance of a Brassavola. What else do we want when we go venturing outside for a stint but to have that fragrance permeate the air? There's something about the Brassavola lips that I enjoy so much is the clean crispness of the white lip. If she were to have the fragrance of fresh linen, I wouldn't be surprised either because that is exactly what it reminds me of. Let's deviate away from a fragrance that is super popular to an orchid that has a fragrance that, well, either you like it or you don't. I just so happen to like it. This is Ancelia Africana, Joe crossed with Puff Adder. She is in bloom for the second time. Thank goodness we only have two spikes this year, but this is her first bloom opening up just in time for International Orchid Day. And I decided that she has to factor into this video because it segs so beautifully to my Kenya Mud crossed with Self. This is another Ancelia Africana. She's a first time bloomer. She has just opened two of her blooms that we can sort of have a sneak peek at and you can see how dark chocolatey those markings are. And then that striking yellow lip coming out at the base. It's just awesome. The contrast has my mind blown and we have a big spike that has as yet to open up. It's gonna be super special when I can show you this spike in full bloom. I am so excited. I absolutely love the richness of that chocolate color. So, so happy. An OG in my collection is in bloom on this special day, Guariantha guatemalensis. Now she comes in with a very, very delicate, beautiful, rich rose fragrance that leans more towards the fresh side of rose fragrance. I don't know about you, but some rose fragrances can be a bit woody, a little bit on the musty side, even though they smell nice, but they can be a little bit on the musty side. Not this one. This one has a very fresh rose fragrance. It's light, it's beautiful. Unfortunately though, or fortunately, depending on what side of the fence you're on, you have to get into the bloom to actually appreciate that fragrance, but it's so nice to have her also in bloom on this special day. And then Dendrobium tortile is in bloom. We have a few more buds to go. We have another orchid here with a rose fragrance and she just looks so magical. She's all over the place, canes going everywhere and petals and sepals going everywhere as well. So this fragrance is a classic rose fragrance. There's nothing deep about it. There's nothing fresh about it. It's just plain old delicious. And the patio will be blessed for another three weeks with these gorgeous, gorgeous blooms. A rescue orchid is in bloom for International Orchid Day. This is Volstichiara Melissa Brianne. She is a typical floral fragrance. There's nothing really to write home about her fragrance. The only thing about this orchid is that in the five years that I've owned her, this will be the second time that she has been rescued. Yes, that includes in my care, but I'm figuring out lecker ratio with insidiums. So eventually this orchid will not continuously be in rescue mode, but that she can grow big and strong as she should as she used to. Four spikes though, I don't think that's too shabby. However, because she is in rescue mode, I will be cutting the spikes off very shortly and then leave her be to recover her strength. A gift from Insta Orchids and ADD is my eye-watering red orange Epidendrum radicans. Gorgeous bloom, sequential spike. This is going to be around for at least six to eight weeks as the buds open one after the other. Love the bird in flight. The phoenix rising out of the ashes appearance of this orchid seeing as the bloom is kind of upside down to what we would consider the right way to look at an orchid bloom. Gorgeous. This pop of red is insane. And basically with the oranges of my Rapiculus Lelias, this color, if I made a display, she would have to go in because they all complement each other beautifully. And I'm going to love and leave you, not with the back end of my Cattleya Maxima, but I want to show you the perfection of the angles of the sepals 
from behind. The proportions are what makes these blooms so attractive to me and any blooms that have a similar kind of symmetry. It's one of those perfect natural footprints. So my Cattleya Maxima is also in bloom on this extremely special day for all orchid growers. She smells of roses. These blooms are also going to be cut off because the orchid is back in active growth and the season, while we may be talking about eight months, it is a very short season for our slow growing orchids and I want strong growth so that hopefully we get to appreciate the gorgeous Maxima blooms again, maybe at the end of the season. I hope you enjoyed to see some color, all these orchids and the nobilies, which I did not feature here, but I will link a video in the description with the nobilies in full bloom if you would like to watch that after this one. But I didn't want to make this video so long so that you can appreciate all the colors that I have in this video and send you off on your beautiful International Orchid Day, which I hope will be beautiful for you. So thank you ever so much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'm just going to seg back to wish you a beautiful day on the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.